Hey everyone, I thought I'd do another quick video on how you can version Apple Notes. And I don't know if you're like me, you may have a note you're working on, you've worked on it a long time, you've made it, but you made a mistake, you've deleted something, and you can't recover it, and you don't have an older version to go back to. So in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of ways you can actually version notes. The first ones are going to be manual, but there are some automations you can do, and this will hopefully help you. So in case for whatever reason you lose a note, you can recover some part of it. All right, let's just start with a simple example. This is gonna be the manual way you can version a note. And I know this is not really true versioning, but it's a simple and fast way you can do something while you're in a hurry and you're in the middle of editing and you just wanna create a, some sort of backup. All right, in this example, I'm gonna use those same notes from the last video. You can see I have a new note that is a book review. So say I'm working on a, a book review and I have it both on iOS here and I have it on Mac OS. And it needs some updating and I'm working on it Obviously, the easiest thing you can do is just duplicate the note. And the way you do that on Mac OS is to simply hit Command-D. And when I hit Command-D, and if I look back, you can see now I have a versioned note. And in iOS, you just go back to gallery or list view. So if I go back here, and I just hold down on the note, and you'll see the duplicate note, and you just duplicate the note. Now, obviously, the problem with this is going to be the fact that you're going to have version notes with the exact same titles. And so if you lose track of that, that's going to be a problem. It's just going to get more and more confusing as you make more and more duplicates. So that's not a really viable way to actually version something. But again, if you're in a pinch and you're in a hurry, you can do that. Also, and if you do make a lot of versions and you lose track and you happen to link to one of them, and for example, you click on the link and you had deleted some of those duplicates, you can see the notes unavailable if you made that mistake. That's another reason why this manual versioning way is probably just something you do in a pinch. All right, the next method is a much more systematic way to actually version your notes. And the way I did this was to use a shortcut. So what you can do is you can have, be working on a bunch of notes in a particular folder, and you can run the shortcut, and the shortcut will duplicate these notes with version titles and dates into the backup folder. And each time you do that, the version date will change so you can actually see when the shortcut was run. So let's just do that. Let's run the shortcut. It's gonna take all these notes that are in this markdown testing folder, and it's gonna create versions of them. So I'll execute it. It's running through. It created the versions. You can see here are the version titles. So let's go back to these notes, and let's go to the backup folder that I created. And you can see here, I now have version titles and duplicates of the notes. So you can see if I come to the Salinger book review, it'll say version, date, time, and the title. Now, obviously not everything gets copied completely. Things like highlights, things like tags are not gonna be copied, but you get that the text, the important part of what you're trying to do is versioned as you write. Now, each time you run this, you're gonna get the same duplicates. So if I come back here again and I rerun the shortcut, it's executing, I come back, I look at my backup folder. Now you'll see I have two sets of the notes, but the dates and times are gonna be different. First one at 8.17 p.m., next one at 8.22 p.m. So you can just keep running this over and over again. Obviously, the concern here would be the more you run it, the more you're gonna have lots of versions of your notes as you're working, and you're gonna have to make, take care to go in and make sure that you clean this up. But if you're doing this as you're working, it's a great way to have a set of project notes, and you're gonna to wanna to have these versions so that for whatever reason, if you happen to lose something, you have a backup. I'll provide the shortcut in the description of this video. And you may be thinking, that's truly not a way to automate versioning of notes. What else can you do? Well, the nice thing about shortcuts is it does have the feature now that allows you to automate through the automation studio uh, when you want the shortcut to run. So you can see, for example, I have it set up here so I could run it at four o'clock daily. Now that's probably not enough. You could set up a bunch of automations here, maybe every two hours throughout the daytime when you're working or whatever your work hours are. Maybe eight hours, you'd set up six of these at two hour spans and it would automatically version your notes, which is really nice. You can run that on iOS, iPad, you can run that on Mac OS. So the automation gallery within Shortcuts itself gives you an opportunity to really automate it. And then if you're in a pinch and you're in a hurry, again, you could just execute the shortcut directly uh, in between these automations and you'd have extra versions. So the last method I'm gonna show you is much more advanced. This uses a similar shortcut like the one I showed you before, 
But in this case, it goes through all the notes in a single folder and extracts all of the text out of those notes and appends it to the file system. So it's actually creating a file on your disk and updating that file on some cadence when the shortcut runs. The actual cadence then is scheduled within the Mac OS launch D scheduler. And if you look in detail on how this particular shortcut is running, basically what it was doing here, you can see it appends to Apple Notes export, which is a folder on my Mac, and it continually updates this particular file, the version backup file. I actually have it running right now. It runs every 10 minutes. And while I'm working on my project, I can have that just automatically running and appending that file in case I need to recover something. I know it's there and I have the data. Now, the details on actually getting this scheduled is, is difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. I'll show you what the basic steps are, and I will have a link in the description how you can do this. But the basic thing is you create the shortcut, you have to create a shell script in your command line, you have to give that shell script the executable rights to run, you have to create a launch DP list job, which is this XML that tells you the schedule on when this should run, and then you have to actually launch the launch D job and have it execute. Very advanced. Most users won't need to do this, but I just thought I'd tell you about it in case you really wanted to do something a little more advanced with your Apple Notes. And just to quickly show you what it looks like, it's just a text file. You can see here it has the titles. I can scroll through, you'll see all the text from there's the nine stories book review. There's some of the other notes that were in that markdown testing folder, all the text is there. And then at the very end, it puts the date and the time of the actual version. So there, I have a way to recover that information. All right, that's it. I hope you found that useful. Versioning Apple Notes is not the easiest thing, and these are just some quick things you could do. As always, I hope you find these videos useful. I really appreciate all the new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. It really helps the channel a lot, and I hope to have more content for you. So everyone take care, and thanks for watching.